This is exactly what we're seeing. The United States military was due for being led by psychopaths, idiots, morons, banksters, greedy bastards, and crazy people. Our military needs to be brought home, and we need to start working on the borders here and cleaning these senior offices out. That's what U.S. Special Forces was created for. That's why Kennedy created them, to liberate the oppressed. Well, that's us, guys. We're being oppressed by this entire system. And that's what he created you. He told you that there was a conspiracy so vast that it scared the shit out of him. And he created U.S. Special Forces to tell clean it out. Okay, so that's your job up there, SF. It's not going around and doing the things you're doing, you know, real warfare tactics in other countries. You're supposed to be helping clean these banksters and these mobsters and these gangsters out of the United States, out of senior offices, and if necessary, go state to state to train the militias, the National Guard and the state militias. The people are to assemble, and that is their duty. The right to bear arms shall not be infringed. And that is because if the government ever becomes tyrannical for the administration up there, the federal administration which is a contract government, right? A contract system. If it ever becomes tyrannical, it tries to invade and force its authority into the state's territories. It is to be stopped and replaced if necessary, completely. Well, now we have the opportunity as a nation, thanks to David Wynn Miller and Russell J. Gould, who have established a brand new federal system, a global federal government system. They're the only guys in the history of the world to ever do this pull this off, gentlemen. And it's high time we took a damn good look at it. Once again, and it's time that we bring these guys forward and start talking to them. Unfortunately, we can't bring Dave forward. It's a travesty. The gentleman has died. Um, but Russell J. Gould is still here. And he is who he is. And the American people need to be made aware of the situation. They need to be made aware of this quantum grammar construct and the magnitude and gravity size and scope of what it is he set up and it needs to be recognized by the military by the rest of the, the NCO chain of command so that the enlisted personnel understand it as well this can't be held a secret anymore by by the senior levels and kept hidden at the senior levels this thing's got to come forward it's our saving grace. This is what the people of the world have been screaming about. It's what they've been praying about. It's biblically, biblically prophesied to come forward, and it's here. Why are we keeping this a secret? Why are we not moving forward with this? I ask you, what the hell are we doing on planet Earth as a group of men? Right? Because I'm not a, I'm not a boat or a vessel. I sure the hell don't belong to somebody else. I sure the hell I'm not someone else's piece of cargo. If they're going to rape, plunder, and pillage and it allowed me to only make what I make just so I can barely scrape by. All right, that shit's over. We need to take a look at his banking system. It's a 10% flat tax, and that seriously needs to be brought forward as soon as possible. This Federal Reserve shit's out the door. Okay, they do nothing but, but uh, work to enrich themselves. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping that with the military up there in Washington, D.C., that Donald Trump and these guys are are planning to bring this whole system that, that uh, Miller and Gould set up forward. That's that's what we're hoping for. A bunch of us are hoping for it. Everybody's watching, okay? And uh, from what we understand, that is the plan. This is all orchestrated. Every bit of it. And it needs to come to a stop. Because these psychopaths aren't running this world anymore. It's over. And they know it. You know, they've been defeated across the board with this quantum system. And if we're not careful, they're going to steal it. Every bit of it, lock, stock, and barrel. And use it to put the screws back down on the people. When in actuality, it was created to take the screws off the people. Lift all the laws. It's all, it's a blank slate again, guys. Commander Gould rebuilt the U.S. Constitution. First things first, right? U.S. Constitution, Bill of Rights, Declaration of Independence, it's all been quantized. It's there, but it just doesn't have the, the two million laws that these jackals up in up in D.C., the Congress and the Senate, 
attached to a later to build the shit out of us to harvest us as the harvest right I'll pay 10% to the church and I'll pay 10% in taxes flat tax on whatever I buy but I'm not paying no income tax no 10% income tax and it's worse than that it's at like one third they're taxing us for one third of our income a third of your income that's a, that's a house payment every month for most people Right? I paid for a house. Where's my house? The American people deserve better. It's out there. It's waiting. God brought it down. It's sitting. And it needs to be recognized by the people of the United States. I'm asking you guys. Do your due diligence. Research all of this. Watch their videos. Listen to them speak. They're going to tell you exactly what I've laid down here for you already. They set up an entirely new corporate federal government system and it's global and it took down all that it took down on the planet and replaced it all it purified the whore of babylon and prepared her as the bride of christ it's the exact same system we're using now it's just been purified of all of the loopholes and all of the bullshit right that they've been using to enrich themselves it works for them but it doesn't work for me right or they know how the loopholes work. So when I go in to try and get myself out of whatever debacle I'm in, I don't know the loopholes. It, it's all it's all foreign to me. They don't teach me this in school. They don't teach our children this in, at the grade school level and bring them up through high school and into college knowing this stuff so that they can conduct operations on their own in, in a manner here in the world that is best for not just themselves, but for the people they're working with and for, right? man to man person to person spirit to spirit soul to soul right and this this grammar system does that the contracts allow you to do that the grammar allows you to do that the entire government construct allows us to do that and that's the beauty of this thing so please do your due do your due diligence get involved take a look at this thing again and let's bring it forward Let's get together as a group of military men on this planet and let's bring it forward and let's push. Thank you. Because we still have Federal Reserve notes and those pieces of paper um, are toilet paper. That is the very first thing that you should do because you do not want your family not to have currency and what you currently have is not worth anything. That's why the BRICS countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa are no longer paying for their international trade in dollars. Governments are no longer holding the Federal Reserve notes. We need to be very, un we, you need to do your homework as citizens and find out what it means when you have Federal Reserve notes. They're valueless and they are unconstitutional and we need to get that outfit out of here. That's the very first thing. And then the second thing is that we have to, um, we have to all um, work together to clean up the mess. And I don't think it's going to be that hard, actually, to, um, to get our republic back. <laughs> so, yeah, wild, right? Patriots, Pastor James here with James Red Pills America. Most financial experts agree that we're going to revert back to the gold standard to back our...